Welcome, welcome. Okay, so yoga for manifestation is designed to allow your manifesting powers to increase, to grow, so that you can have abundance in your life. When we say abundance, it means you can have everything that you want. The only thing that stops you is you. So to remove that, to undo our conditioning, we start from the body to our energy body and then eventually to our soul. So to be able to travel from self to our true self, we use the medium of yoga, a system given by the masters of the mountains to help us, to enable us to find our true purpose, to find ourselves, and eventually to find in oneness with everything, everyone, with all of you. You, me, we are all one. With that feeling, with that understanding, let's practice together. Whenever you're ready, please come up on the beginning of your mat. Hold pranam, eyes closed, back straight, shoulders relaxed. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Take this moment to breathe. Take this moment to connect and bring yourself in the present moment. If your body moves, then bring it back to balance. And very softly, slowly and gently, open your eyes and come back. Please put on the music. Inhale. Lift up, look up. Exhale sideways down. Look out, look forward. Feel your body stretching, your spine elongating. Feel the stretch on the back of your legs. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up. Look up. Exhale, sideways down. Leg out. Shoulder distance apart. Inhale, lift up. Look up. Exhale, half down. Look out, look forward. Stay strong. Now flatten your back. Your back should not be humped like this. It needs to be flattened and arms against your ears. Stay there. Five, four, three. Beautiful. Hold it there. A few more seconds. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Look out, look forward. Stay strong. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, palms down, fully down. Downward up. Look out, look forward. Body straight in plank, Santulanasana. Squeeze your stomach, hold it there a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one, in downward up. Look up, right leg 
outside of your right palm. Leg back, downward dog. Left leg outside of your left palm. Stay strong. Downward dog. Right knee in between your palms. Exhale, palms down. Bring your leg back in downward dog. Move with your breath. Allow yourself to connect from your body to your breath. Left leg in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, palms down. Downward dog. Drop your knees down. Palms directly below your shoulder. Inhale the palm. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look up and hold. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg up. Right leg up, left knee down. Left knee on the ground, right leg up. Now, hold your right leg, right ankle with your right hand and lift up, open. Beautiful. Stay there. Beautiful. Most of you can do it. Stay hold. Exhale. Lift up. Change. Exhale. Release. Now drop your chest in between your palms. Ashta Anga Pranamasan. From here, Bhujangasan. Cobra pose. Back to Ashtanga Pranamasan. Bhujangasan. Ashtanga Pranamasan. Bhujang Asana. Ashtanga Pranam Asana. Bhujang and hold. Open your chest, open your shoulder. Keep breathing. up extend your elbows look up keep breathing exhale release inhale lift up look up exhale inhale Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale right leg fold right leg fold bring your leg on the ground you bring your foot on the ground change very nice left leg fold bring your left foot on the ground Exhale, release. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to bring your leg down, turn sideways. We're going to lock our leg and lift. And come back. Beautiful. Change to the other side. If it is a little twisted for you and you're not able to catch your leg, it's fine. We will get there with practice, okay? Lift up. Exhale. Balasan. Child's pose. From here, your nose underground and Inhale, lift up. Inhale, jump up. We're going to do this few more counts, okay? We're going to bring our nose on the ground and pull your body back to baby pose, child's pose. And from here, drop your nose on the ground and lift up in Bhujanga Asan. Beautiful. Okay, okay, not just like that. I see you guys. Just ah Jane. Good to see you. some of the Y for M teachers. Aditi. Beautiful. Okay. So watch our Y for M teachers what they're doing. Jackie. We're gonna drop our nose on the ground, pull it back, which means that you're gonna use your stomach muscles. Okay? You're just you're not just gonna go down and then back like this we're gonna keep our nose on the ground and lift up from here we're gonna drop our body down nose on the ground and use our stomach our core to pull our body back let's try a few more counts let's go one beautiful y4m teachers and back Two. And back. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. From here, downward dog. Walk your legs. And sit in Sukhasana. Beautiful, beautiful body needs to be flexible legs out as we talk we're going to we're going to be in asan okay hands up keep breathing lift up you're going to hold there and we're going to chop the uh, chat we're going to talk stay hold it there keep your legs straight hands up stay so some of the asans may not come easily to you sometimes you'll find that your body shakes sometimes you'll find that it pains a little bit but you have to know your limit at the same time you need to progress exhale release you must have the intelligence not to cause any injury to your body However, you need to also have the intelligence to move forward in your journey. So if you're not able to do one asana today, you need to make up your mind. I will achieve this in five days, in 10 days. By the end of the 11 days, I will 
complete this asana. I will make sure that I achieve this asana. Is that okay? All right. Very nice. Legs out. Right leg fold. And breathing. Conscious breathing. Yogic breathing. Be a yogi or a yogini. You will see life change. You might look the same from outside, but inside you would have changed. You can deal with life, life's challenges very easily. Your inner core will be unshakable. Change. This is what yoga does for you, apart from weight loss, apart from other physical things that you get get flexibility strength all of this are side effects of yoga release now lock your toes nicely with your two fingers lock your toes apply good pressure look out look forward if you're new here you will find that you your hamstrings are being stretched your back may be a little strained if you're not that flexible, but um, that's just part of the journey, okay? Now, if you're there, now your next goal should be to bring your elbows on the ground. Exhale. Try to bring your elbows on the ground. Beautiful, beautiful. Most of you are able to do it. Those who are not able to do it quite yet, make sure that you keep it in your mind that this is a goal that you need to achieve okay inhale straighten your back again look up now this time we're going to bring our nose towards our knee and completely exhale the air out and flatten our body to our legs Inhale up and exhale completely and go down. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, release. Last count. Inhale up. And exhale. Beautiful. Bring your feet together, please. Lock your toes. Move in butterfly. Open your hips. Keep your back straight. Shoulders relaxed. Beautiful. And keep smiling. Bring positivity, love in your life. It's much, much better that way. Yeah, we have a choice. Either we can be grumpy or sad, or we choose to be happy. We choose to be positive. It's a choice that we all have to make. Okay. Sometimes it's difficult to make that choice. And you know what you need to do when you have those days? Do yoga. It will shift your vibration immediately. Balance your breathing. It will immediately help you. Is that okay? Yes. Very nice. Now bring your head down on the ground. Walk your palms. Walk your palms and bring your head down on the ground. Hold it there, hold it there. Now again, this is another goal. If you're not able to touch your nose on the ground, your chin on the ground, you need to keep this in your mind that I need to achieve this. Uh, it means that your hips are a bit locked and 
hips can be opened up gradually okay first goal is to get your forehead on the ground second is to get your nose on the ground third is to get your chin on the ground then your hips are fully opened and come back gentle smile on your face toe pull towards you inhale up We're gonna bend our knees and pull ourselves up and stand up beautiful go down Get your legs out. Two. Up. Try to get up without taking support. Use your stomach muscles. Down. Three. Down. Four. Beautiful. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. And down. Nine. And down. Ten and down. Sit in Sukhasan. Rotate your shoulder. Other way down. Inhale, look up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale gently. Look out, look forward, right leg, right head, uh, look towards your right and center. Look towards your left, center, look towards your right, center, left, and center beautiful now gently rotate your neck inhale as you go up and exhale as you come down other way down inhale as you go up and exhale as you come down inhale look up again and exhale look down now please come up on your mat feet together beginning of your mat hold pranam we're gonna do three cycles of sun salutation get your body ready sun salutation will give you energy now with me you're going to learn how to do sun salutation this is an everyday practice you must try to do at least 21 surya namaskar 21 cycles in a day you see what amazing changes it brings to your body and your mind okay for now you concentrate on learning how to do the move here you are going to inhale and exhale okay inhale and exhale open your eyes inhale up exhale palms down nose towards your knee right leg back left leg back body straight drop your knees drop your chest in between inhale up in bhujanga or cobra pose exhale downward dog. 
right foot forward drop your left knee down toes out foot forward yes very nice left foot forward bring your nose towards your knee inhale lift up palms together and exhale pranam inhale and exhale here inhale lift up bend back exhale palms down left leg back drop your knees down toes out right leg back body straight in santulanasan drop your knees drop your chest in between your palms inhale lift up in cobra pose your navel on the ground shoulders opened exhale downward dog left foot forward drop your right knees down toes out beautiful right foot forward bring your nose towards your knee inhale up and exhale pranam very nice second cycle there are 24 steps and follow the breathing along with each move is that okay inhale and exhale here here inhale exhale bring it down inhale right leg back exhale and hold that breath as you hold drop your drop your knees and drop your chest inhale lift up exhale downward up right foot forward left knee down toes out left leg forward nose towards your knee inhale lift up and back and exhale palms together beautiful inhale and exhale here second half inhale up exhale left leg back drop your knees down toes out right leg back drop knees drop chest inhale bhujanga asan exhale downward up left foot forward drop your right knees down toes out right foot forward bring your nose towards your knee inhale lift up and back and exhale this completes the second cycle now i'm going to count the steps so that you can remember okay this is count one inhale and exhale here notice that i'm going to use the count and the breathing okay one inhale and exhale two inhale three exhale four inhale five exhale and hold six drop you're still holding that breath seven inhale up eight exhale nine inhale ten exhale eleven inhale and twelve exhale this completes the first half with our right leg moving on to the left leg 13 inhale and exhale here 14 inhale up 15 exhale down 16 left leg back 17 exhale and hold 18 drop holding breath 19 inhale up 20 exhale down 21 inhale 22 exhale 23 inhale up and 24 
Exhale. Got it? Be able to remember? Make sure you practice it, okay? Now sit down in Sukhasan. Keep your back straight. Rotate your ankles. Other way around. Other way around. And other way around. Beautiful. Now right leg fold. Right hand up. Lock it around your knee. Lock your fingers. Now inhale here. And exhale. Bring your nose towards your left knee. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Wendy, you're ready to do 21? 108 for you, not 21. Exhale. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Yogini. And change. Lock. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. For those who are participating in the 1008, I can see a lot of you, Ingrid, Yuta, a lot of you, you need to increase your practice. Lion, Shivagato, all of you, you need to practice. And everyone who are starting new, you also need to become really strong. They have been practicing with us for a while. And I know we can, I can push them. Yes, Ingrid? 21 minimum for you guys. Now, change again. Lock. These are the people that I have a stick and then I, I push them. I make sure that they are physically healthy, mentally healthy, and make sure that they are moving forward. So those who are new in yoga, yoga is, is not just for physical movement. Yoga is to eventually, eventually what? Get to know you, the true you, okay? It's a beautiful journey, and, and I'm very happy to see all of you starting your journey already. So start on the physical, move to the energy level, eventually to the spirit level. Exhale down. Change. Let's go to the other side. And release. Beautiful. Legs up. Lie down on your back, drop your toes in halasan. Drop your toes in halasan. Halasan is, what do you call, how do you call this in English? Plow position. Drop your toes in halasan. Beautiful. Come back out, hold in, no cast in both posts. Two, go. Come back up. Hold, hold, hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Knee straight. Come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Exhale, come back. Hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Beautiful. Stay hold. Knee straight. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Exhale. 
Come back, hold. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. I can see you. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Come on. Jody, I can see you. Lift up. <laughs> 7, 6, <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop. And stay hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. <sighs> Absolutely. Dia, sit in Sukhasan. Dia just asked, is it possible to make my muscles flexible with no injury? Of course you can. Of course you can. Okay. But if you haven't, if you haven't practiced, then it would take a, just a little longer than a younger person. That's all. Okay. But anyone can start yoga at any time. Anytime. Yoga is for everyone. No age, no body limits, no caste, no religion. It's for everyone. It's for everyone who wants to evolve, who wants to transform themselves. Namo Himalaya, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your energies with me. Namo Himalaya.